All right, so Bitcoin did actually close this weekly candle above the 600 itself, which was sitting in at $48,000, 48,500 regions. And we are currently trending above this one. We did test the $50,000 levels. In fact, we are trying to trend above 50,000 as of now, but it looks to me like it's pretty much clear that yes, the 618 was taken out and we could be heading all the way towards the one on one extension sitting at 58,000 in this week itself most likely before the end of this week itself and later down the line if we want this entire piece of price action to be a macro accumulation to be a macro reaccumulation something like this is what we can expect down the line before a further continuation move to the upside for all the way about a hundred thousand bitcoin come in and add 2.618 down the line now i do feel that this is something which could potentially start playing out looking at the price action structure yes things are looking fine but there's one more thing which i really want bitcoin to do is that open another candle essentially a trending behavior a weekly trending behavior the 600 above the 600 itself right now you don't want to see this weekly candle closing straight below 600 back again now that would mean that nope we don't have any strength in the mid time frames to do something at like this right and that would mean that we could come back down and retest the 21 exponential on the weekly time frame itself once again before doing something like this but essentially this week's price action is really important on bitcoin itself as this is something which is going to be deciding most of the crypto assets trend to the upside and their magnitudes as well so Essentially for this week, if the trend looks fine on the daily time frame itself, we can think of Bitcoin doing something like this and retesting the one on extension at $60,000 levels and then maybe attempting a reaccumulation before the further momentum move to the upside. All right. So with that said, let's take a look at the next asset we have. We have synthetic network token. Now, this one is also breaking out of a grind, guys. The three day time frame got reaccumulated with this moving average right here. And as of now, we are leaving this grind to the upside. And this is kind of giving us clear signals that maybe synthetics takes $18 levels in this week itself and maybe pushes higher all the way towards $23 as Bitcoin has its structure aligning onto these levels. If you just combine the price action on synthetics network token with Bitcoin itself, you can see that the one on extension for this bearish leg to the downside is sitting in at $22, $23 levels flat. And this is where synthetics network token is most likely headed towards. And this could happen by this week, by the end of this week, before the end of this week it itself. But the momentum on the three day time frame has started taking a little shape and a little momentum to the upside as well. As this one, as this relative strength index really wants to trend above the six reads on the three day. Although I do believe the daily is, yes, the daily is above 60. Essentially, synthetics is on a trending motion. And I think the risk management, the most obvious risk management, essentially the stop loss is going to be somewhere alongside these levels on a daily closing basis. You don't want to see synthetics closing a daily candle again below $13 levels. That would mean that we would be having another retest of the 21 exponential on the daily. And then maybe we can attempt another move to the upside after retesting the 21 exponential itself. But until we are holding $13 levels to the upside, most likely synthetics network token will have a swift move to the upside right now the daily time frame structure is looking kind of different from the three day itself because this is what it's looking like on the daily guys this is something we got three contact points and we have a breakout from this contact point right here and well yes certainly this one is a squeeze as well out of which we are breaking out pretty neat looking structure in the price action itself happening alongside the 21 exponential now this is a good looking trend and if we take the upside targets for this entire squeeze Yes, we have $20 flat as our target, but I would be extending my targets all the way towards $24.5 levels as this was the last rejection high, the last swing high that led price action down all the way towards six to five point five dollar levels. Now that was crazy, but this one got reaccumulated like a charm and is pushing higher all the way towards these price points. So this could be a potential good looking trade for this week itself. And the daily is looking fine. Every momentum indicator is looking completely fine on synthetics. Now, one thing one thing I have to talk about this as is the fact that this is crazy volatile guys. Now if anybody has been trading synthetics network token, you know the deal that this can be volatile by 20% and still stay bullish on the daily time frame itself. And that really depends on how deviated you are are from the exponential 21 right because most of the retests they happen alongside the exponential 21 on the daily and whenever you get deviated by maybe 30 percent to the upside that is when you have that retest back down to the 21 exponential itself for maybe a 20 percent down move and your structure still stays bullish so essentially what i'm trying to tell you guys that yes this can be volatile by maybe 30 35 percent to the downside retesting the key levels but still be bullish now, this is the risk tolerance that you need to have if you want to trade synthetics, but 
essentially your trend is towards the upside no matter whatever it does in the small time frame small to mid time frames and maybe it retests the 21 exponential itself but essentially your trend is to the upside even if the asset is volatile by 20 percent in maybe a daily candle itself okay so next up we have zilliqa right here which is setting in a good trend guys remember after the reaccumulation below the 21 exponential on the three day itself zilliqa has done this again and again again and again you you do a, you do get accumulated below the 21 exponential and then bam you go to the upside alongside the 21 exponential right and well i don't think we have much history on usd pair but we do have calculated history on binance on the usd pair itself where most of the good looking trends on Zilliqa happen either alongside the exponential 21 to the downside or exponential 21 to the upside as you can see most of the trends this is one of the neat looking trends on the three day time frame itself and looks to me like we have formulated a base right here on Zilliqa essentially all right now let's talk about legitimate levels on the USDT pair itself and guys now this is pretty much clear that one of the macro level of risk management on Zilliqa is going to be this one below a dollar flat right now this entire zone is going to be your risk management for the long term picture as well um, essentially your upside targets are pretty much clear on Zilliqa with the rest of the market trying to take uh, the last bearish leg uh, essentially Zilliqa's upside target is going to be at 24 cents flat from these price points yes this is 100% leg to the upside and well you would if you are able to maintain your posture above the 0 0.095 cents levels all right not at all. Say, all, right, all right. I was talking about cents right here. So essentially, if you're able to maintain your posture above the 10 cents level on Zilliqa itself, most likely we do retest the 25 cents pretty soon with the rest of the market doing the same thing, testing the one on extension sitting in at 24 cents right here. Okay, let me see if I'm recording the audio as well. Okay, yes, we are doing that. We are recording everything. <laughs> Don't want to be that fool after recording for 10 minutes, just thinking straight that, holy shit, what the fuck did I just do by not hitting that record button? All right, so what's happening right here is that we are currently at the 382 extension. Whereas the rest of the market is at 618, right? And we have a crazy amount of leeway for Zilliqa itself. So if you have been waiting for I don't know, some good trades right here. Be okay with the volatility and manage your risk completely, essentially according to the higher low structures that Zilliqa is trying to make onto this entire price action alongside the 21 exponential on the daily itself and maybe target a 618 for this structure right here. Now, this is not a financial advice. If you if you want to put if you want to take any bets in the market i would not be responsible for any loss that you incur but certainly this is one of the structures which is looking completely fine and the rest of the market is above 618 whereas zilliqa is below that and this is a good project guys now zilliqa is essentially a shitcoin yes it's a shitcoin but yes fundamentally zilliqa is one of the good projects guys zilliqa is a quality projects and this will trend alongside most of the key crypto assets which are simply free floating towards maybe 618 and 886 coming down the line pretty soon at 20 cents flat now essentially once we start clearing the one on one extension then we can talk about 1618 2618 at probably 50 cents and that could also happen and one dollar zilliqa is sitting in above the 4236 10618 sitting at two dollars flat could it be possible Yes, it could be possible, but that could take a while. That could take a long time. That could take a long time. But essentially, Zilliqa could trend all the way towards 10764 down the line, maybe by the end of this year itself. All right, guys. So with that said, I'm going to be winding up this video right here. And you can see that this is the structure that you want to look forward towards in most of the crypto assets as of now, right? And this kind of structure is something which you have to keep in your mind guys remember higher low higher low higher low higher lows and even if you come back down all the way towards the exponential 21 now this could be situating another higher low on these levels above the 10 cents level and maybe we keep on trending after setting in a low right here a higher low right around these levels and then we keep on trending all the way towards the 600 at first and maybe one on one coming down the line on zilliqa itself all right guys with that said i'm going to be catching all of you tomorrow bye for now